Hi, I'm Christian Garnett, content producer at Cape Media Center, and this is what's happening. I'm here with Judy Laster, executive director of the 31st annual Woods Hole Film Festival. Hi, Judy. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? Great, thanks so much for having me on. I'm excited to uh, talk about the Woods Hole Film Festival. I'm excited to learn about it. So I have some information here, um, but I'd like to hear about it from you. Um, first of all, I'd like to know, uh, when is this event? So thank you for asking. The 31st Woods Hole Film Festival will take place starting this Saturday, uh, July 30th, and it runs through the following Saturday, um, August 6th. Over that time, we will be screening 116 films that were submitted to us from around the world. And we will be screening them in locations in Woods Hole, Falmouth, and Katuit at the Katuit Center for the Arts. Great. What kind of films are these? So we get films, um, we generally show feature films, both narrative and documentary and then short films. And in the short film category, we generally show uh, narrative, documentary, comedy, animation, sometimes experimental films. And of the films that we show, we tend to show about, we try and develop a program that is both representative of style, content, and we take into account the filmmakers too. So. This year we have about 45 uh, feature length films and those include documentary and narrative. And then the rest, uh, 72 of them are short films. We show the shorts in programs. We put a program together of shorts. And then we also sometimes show shorts before features. Sounds great. Um, but I know that this event, this event is not exclusively films. Uh, you have other types of events there, right? Yeah, so um, every year, in addition to the daily film screenings, we also have um, parties where we have uh, music. This festival focuses on trying to create uh, a large community event. And so during the festival week, we try and have, like I said, we have music sometimes at our evening parties. And this year we have uh, three evening parties that will have music at them by local musicians, uh, including a group called Bongo Genesis, uh, Kim Moberg, Anna and the Moderns. And then on Tuesday, following the screening of The Chisels Are Calling, which is a feature documentary film, Julian Lodge is going to play following that. In addition, each year we have uh, a filmmaker in residence who we invite to bring his or her film to the festival. And this year, that filmmaker in residence, her name is Tasha Van Zant, and she's made a film called After Antarctica. And she will be here along with the subject of that film, Will Steger, who's uh, one of the best known polar explorers in the world, and the film is about him. Um, each year, we also have a focus, when possible, on films related to science. Being in Woods Hole, we have many science uh, institutions that we that surround us and so we take into account the work that they do and when we find films that are relevant to that work particularly around ocean and climate and environment in general we try and create a program out of those this year uh, we have many of those and um, <clears throat> so we will have a panel discussion called from pole to pole um, documenting climate change in extreme locations. And that will include uh, filmmakers from the film After Antarctica, Exposure, The Lake at the Bottom of the World, and a Hui Polar Scientist. So that'll be also very interesting. Um, yeah, so it's that kind of thing that we try and do every year, which is to have the films, have the filmmakers. We have about 80% of the filmmakers who will be here. So we do post screening Q and A's with them. Mm -hmm. And we also invite the audience in those Q and A's to participate and ask questions. Speaking of the audience, um, I heard that the awards given are audience awards. How does that work? Well, so we give different kinds of awards. We uh, So we have audience awards, meaning that when you go to a screening or if you watch it virtually, and I forgot to mention that, 
in addition to the in-person screening venues, uh, we also have an opportunity to, for people to watch the films virtually, but you vote after the screening. Mm -hmm. So there are audience awards. We also have a jury. So there are jury awards and the jury um, is selected by us annually and they are experienced filmmakers and people in the film industry who then give their award selections. We also have director's choice awards. And those are a variety of different categories that are given by the people who program the festival. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty exciting. And the awards are given on the final night of the festival at our closing night party, uh, Saturday, August 6th um, at the Captain Kid restaurant in Woods Hole. Great. If somebody wanted tickets, how would they get them? So if people want tickets, they can go to our website, which is woodsholefilmfestival.org. Um, it's pretty easy. Everything that you can do right through your phone or your computer, or you can come to our box office, which is open daily at the old Woods Hole Fire Station located at 72 Water Street in Woods Hole. That's probably the best way, or they can call us at 508-495-3456, and we'll be happy to help people. And you can buy just one ticket or you can buy a package of tickets and those ticket packages can be used in any, any way you want. If you wanna go to all the films yourself, you can do that. If you wanna bring somebody, you can do that. Um, or if you're buying a pass, passes are for the virtual uh, part of the festival only. So if you buy a pass, then you buy that and then you can watch the films at any time during the festival and as many times as you want. Sounds awesome. Uh, yeah. So just to recap, this is an eight day event. It is the 31st annual Woods Hole Film Festival. It goes from July 30th through August 6th. And uh, there's also four nights of music, Saturday, Wednesday, Friday, and the following Tuesday, right? No, Tuesday during the festival, following the screening of the film, The Chisels Are Calling. Got it. Um, is there anything else that anybody should know about this event? Yeah, I mean, you know, we spend the entire year really trying to put together a program that we think represents the best in emerging independent film. And we have amazing films this year. And as we are all getting, you know, used to going out again, uh, living with the pandemic, we want people to know that we take into account different ways that people might want to watch films, but we really do hope that people will come back out in person and support this for many of the filmmakers and for many people in the audience. It's the first time they will have seen independent films on a screen since the pandemic started. And we have incredibly great films. As I said, at least 80% of the filmmakers are coming here, some from as far away as Ireland to participate and to be here. And people love to come to the Woods Hole Film Festival because Woods Hole is such a great village feeling. I mean, most of the things are in walking distance of each other. And it's just a wonderful way to have an experience that you won't get a chance to have otherwise. So we hope that um, people on the Cape will take a chance to come to Woods Hole um, and uh, participate in this festival. Well, thank you so much, Judy, for all your time and all that information. Yeah, um, great. I'm Christian Garnett, and this is what's happening.